everyone and welcome to Jammin' Bread Music and in this video I'm trying out the Dunlop Volume X Mini pedal. Um, so this is like a mini volume pedal so it's also doubles as an expression pedal but for this video we're just going to focus on its uh, capabilities as a volume pedal. So the cool thing about this pedal is that it is half the size, about half the size of a normal volume pedal and so to me, I was kind. Of, there was a time where I was really obsessed with how small can I make my pedal board, and so I ended up. Uh, I would always carry around a volume pedal with me because I really enjoy the whole volume swell. And sure, you know, like you can get the whole. Um, you can do that with your, you know, your volume controls and stuff like that. Um, but you're a, a little bit limited. With, with, you know, just how well you can accomplish it. it you're, I don't know. Like, you can still do it, and there are people, you know, who are great with being able to take their pinky and be able to roll the volume like that. Uh, but it, it's kind of harder to do on, say, like an SG or Les Paul style Gibson guitar. Um, you know, there's other guitars that are a bit easier to do that on, maybe like Fenders and stuff like that. But anyway, so for me, I found that just having a volume pedal was just so much more practical and more, just made more sense. But the problem with the volume pedal that I, I have, at least, is it's really heavy. And so when I put it in my bag and carry it with me, uh, and I wouldn't put it on the pedal board because it was, you know, twice the length of a pedal board, the one that I was using at the time, at least. And so I would always carry it separately and I noticed just how heavy it was and how much that added to the weight rather than any of the other pedals or anything else I had. So uh, I thought I would get this pedal and try it out, um, but there's one big problem that I'm seeing so far and I haven't really, I've had this pedal for a few months and I'm just now really messing with it. Um, and there's one big problem that I see and that is there's not much of, I guess, a taper or maybe, maybe call it a roll off. So if we were to play something like this. Um, it, one thing too, you notice like when you play it, like there is a buildup of volume. It definitely goes from you know zero to whatever, and, and it increases, which is great. But compared to the other volume pedal, which I'll probably drag out in a second, it's not quite the same and it's not quite as good um you can really tell with distortion so let's try this so this is our distorted tone this is a bit intense oh my gosh okay let's try that again and it's a little i don't really like that but we'll just go with it um so if we try like what we were doing for the intro. Um, and so without distortion and without the, the reverb effect, by the way, we're gonna take that off as well. Um, and we just play that with our EP booster engaged as well. Uh, and you just play like. Like there is a gradual buildup of volume, but try that with distortion. And to me, it's almost like the volume just kind of turns on if that makes any sense. You know how it's just like, boom, like it just kind of comes on. Let's try it with um, just one string. There isn't much of a ramp or a progression from zero to 10. It's almost like zero to five to 10 or something like that. Like. Um, or, or five in, in between ten. There's not much from zero to five, if that makes any sense. And like I said, I'll get another volume pedal and we can try it out to maybe get a better sense of how it actually sounds, or should be sounding, in my opinion. Um, so that's kind of the first major problem for me with this pedal. Like, it, yes, it's definitely cool. Like, it is so small. It's the size of a boss pedal, just about. I mean, it's it's almost smaller than a boss pedal. It's, it's taller because of the whole, you know, being able to use your foot on it and all that kind of stuff. But, like, it, it's it's awesome for that sense um, and maybe it works better as an expression pedal because there seems to be some more functionality added into the pedal because of that but as a volume pedal I'm just not quite sure about it okay so now I have the Ernie Ball this is like an old Ernie Ball volume pedal so uh, if we try this and again we do like the uh, the beginning thing sort of the beginning thing the ramp up 
up and the ramp down. The ramp down on this pedal is pretty severe, but um, but take like a single note. There's much more of a build with it. And it kind of like, it lets it kind of grow a bit. It doesn't just start off and then build up. So what I'm gonna do, let's compare them. So all we're gonna do is switch out the volume pedal. So uh, let's hit like, I don't know, the seventh fret on the A string. So again, one more time. So I'll try to hit it. I'll try my best to sync them up, but no promises. Just want to jump in here and show the waveforms. Uh, you can actually see the top one is the uh, you know the full volume pedal, the big one. So you can actually see how, especially in the second waveform, how it's kind of it jumps up a little, but then it slowly rises up. And then with the second one is the mini pedal, and you can see just how sharp it just goes like straight out like that. It's crazy. So I guess this can maybe kind of prove my point a little better so enjoy so compare those maybe it's my imagination maybe it's not i don't know but to me personally it's not it's not that bad to be completely honest so like let's try some stuff here um so like oh gosh i'm having after using that big one man that is so weird especially with these boots gosh Sounds like it just turns on. Like it's it's weird. It's almost like a kill switch. Like you're turning on a kill switch. I just I don't know. I find that so it's so weird. Um, let's try it without distortion. I mean, it's definitely more. It's not as bad without distortion. I don't know, like I said, maybe it's my imagination, but a lot of the time you, when you play it, it just sounds like it's just turns on and off. It's weird.
Like, it almost sounds more like an Ebo, almost. Like, or again, what you're trying to simulate, usually with the volume swells, is like a violin or a stringed instrument. It sounds... Like, a, a normal volume pedal sounds a lot more natural. Just, I don't know, it's, it stinks, it's really weird. But there are other things inside of this volume pedal, the little one. So let's open it up. Maybe there's some controls in there that will help adjust the taper or something like that. I'm an idiot. This has nothing to do with the volume. Wait, this is random. I have this randomly. And of course I do that after I already did all the other ones. Perfect. Now the stuff on the inside is really cool, but like it doesn't help it at all as being a volume pedal. The other th one thing was like, what was it for a tuner? The other thing was for an expression pedal. I don't know, it does stuff which is awesome. You know, it's so cool that this pedal has so many different functions, but I feel like it just doesn't really function well as a volume pedal. Um, you can adjust the taper, or not, not necessarily taper, but the, the friction, so how easy it is to, to push the pedal, which I have done in the past. And again, that's really cool. I, I like having added functionality, but again, it doesn't really fix the biggest problem, and that is that it's just not a great volume pedal. Now, I think it is very doable. As you heard from the, you know, the intro, uh, little song chord progression thing that I did, that was with this pedal and it sounds completely fine. And so I think definitely if you know, you need the space, then, you know, go for this pedal. It's really good. But if you can manage the weight and size of a, more you know normal volume pedal then you'd probably be better off doing that so yeah that kind of sums up my thoughts on the pedal um i again like i said it's really cool i just wish that it was better i think that if you're kind of advertising it as a volume pedal then it needs to act as a volume pedal first and foremost and i almost feel like just from what it says maybe it's meant to be more of an expression pedal or something like that so i don't know that's just my two cents. It's really cool. Great build quality, it seems like. It's, it seems awesome. It's just no, not really for me, I guess. So if you enjoyed this video or found it helpful or whatever, uh, <laughs> then leave a like. Uh, I'd really appreciate that. I'm just kind of starting off. Um, also, consider subscribing to be notified whenever I make more videos. Well, to be notified, you have to hit the little bell thing. But whatever. We won't worry about that. Um, and <laughs> yeah, just let me know in the comment section below what you think about the pedal. Do you think there's much of a difference between this one and the other one I was using? Or do you prefer one to the other? Or do you have this pedal? What are your thoughts on it? And yeah, just thank you all so much for watching. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys.